Okay, I'm running a test right now. I can't see. Actually, I have no idea if I'm in the, in the view, but I think I am. And we're going to, or I'm going to, try to see if I can handle a horse blind. And I can't think of a better way to do it than to actually blindfold myself. And on my property, I should be able to, should be able to do it, but I'm, I'm curious. So we're gonna go to the back to go get Luke. I'm gonna have, I've already got my halter. I got this blind, which was interesting to say the least. Um, here comes David. But my inspiration is from a post of somebody asking me if it's possible to work with horses when blind. And I said, well, you need a lot of experience. So here I am with a little bit of experience. I think David's here, there. <laughs> He's gonna take some video for us. Okay, well, just try to keep me in frame, I guess. I'll just talk my way through this weirdness. But I wanna know if it's possible to do this without getting hurt or doing anything crazy. So if I look like I'm about to fall down somewhere or something like that, maybe say something, but other than that, I'm gonna try to rely on my sense of awareness of my location and uh, uh, I actually don't know where I am anymore. I think I'm- You're right in the middle of the driveway. Ah, okay, so that makes me feel good. Uh, but, okay. So I feel like I'm going straight, uh, but I think that if I was actually- You're veering a bit to the left, you're gonna be in the grass in about five okay. steps. You can't keep telling me that. I'm supposed to figure it out. Okay. Oh. Okay, but if I was blind, I'd probably have a stick, like a blind, a, Walking, I'm trying to make it to the gate, to be honest. So I'm gonna to try to make it to the gate to walk along the fence. I'm gonna to try to logically make my way through. I feel like I'm getting close, because I've flattened out on the ground. I just gotta make it. It's getting pretty sandy. Okay, there's the gate. Off we go. Now I'm so confident, I'm just gonna follow the fence line around as long as nobody's left any wheelbarrows around. I should be able to travel pretty good down to loop. That's two posts, I think, which is actually interesting. I thought about what my other senses would tell me if I could judge distance, angle of my feet, all that kind of thing. That's the stairs. Just gonna continue on. So I'm gonna do a simple goal for now. It is going to be to catch Luke and let him out. I don't recall if that gate is locked. And I'm too lazy to go up, so is it locked? No. So that's, uh, okay, we got the gate. Ouch. The sharp edge, see, so I think that need to make it to the end. I think I need to go this way. So luckily I've done this with a camera in my hand while watching the horses a zillion times. They know exactly how to do that. Off we go. Okay, so I believe that over time, <laughs> I, could, I could definitely get better at this and a little faster. Well, I think Haley's all the way at the back already. I think she found Luke, which is fantastic. She's trying the same test as me. Now I do know that I've got the C to C coming up when I come off of the, the uh, Okay, so I know I need to go around. I'm going to actually use my rope a little. Protect if there's an object this way. I need to find the tree. Not the tree. Just blacked out, Graham. Oh yeah, the screen turns off. Uh oh. That's a real girl. Do I need to engage this again? No, no, you can tap the screen if you want and it'll just turn the screen on. Oh. Okay. That's about it. The screen just turns off the battery too. Okay, so I got past the wheelbarrow with the I wasn't sure. I did not realize I was facing that direction. Okay, moving on. 
Okay, so being blind is hard. Um, I certainly can't relate in any, I think, almost a respectable way. Hi, Daddy. Hi. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to need to get to him, so you'll need to hop out or whatever you have to. Okay. I'm, I'm doing a, hopefully, a reasonably good test of a question that I got. Okay, I made it to the end I know that Luke Tires is just over here. I should so probably, probably get organized with my halter. I know what it feels like. I've done it relatively blind for quite a while. So, should be pretty close to the fence. Yep. Okay. All right. Oh, boy. I feel like I've done this a million times, too. I think Luke's right here. Now to be safe, I'm gonna come in and lock it up. <laughs> hey buddy. Okay, I can really feel him now, actually. So this is my question, or the question that came in is, can you work with horses blind? And the, the person had asked about their son being a massage person. Can they do massage work? Oh, I don't have your nose. Can you give me your nose? Thanks. Um, being a massage person. Is this not fit right? What's happened? Oh, there we go. Um, a massage person uh, with horses and whether it would be safe or okay. And uh, so the first order of business, obviously, is to be able to handle and be around and know where they are. And I've always taught a zillion times over that when you're like uh when you're with a horse um it's it's not ideal to sort of hold like this for purposes of uh space to make sure that they have a little space from you so if you wanted to feel safer i could ask him back a little i say stay over there and i want to be able to feel what this feels like of course he's bumping my elbow the whole time here so i know exactly where he is <laughs> hello friend so, but uh, we do need to wander out of here into the arena. And, uh, you know, I gotta admit, this is actually a really interesting experience that I think I'm gonna try a few more times. Um, Cause this is my first, this is my first. So I wonder if I'll get better. Okay, so there's only one horse in here. So I don't have to worry about him. I know that the gate is over that way because I live here. So that's a big, huge bonus. I think that if you were to do this kind of thing as a business and you were to go to different places, you really have to have somebody with you. Okay, so my ears are listening to Luke. He took a step and this lead rope is going to tell me based on its weight and tightness there uh, will tell me how close he is. And I believe I need to go this way. So I'm just going to put my arm out and I'm being more cautious. I can already feel that I've got an elbow out like that as I want to ward him off a little. There's the gate. Keep my way over. Hey, he's not coming with me. He's probably getting some attention from something. I'm trying to. Okay, so I know my space. I know where he should be. I can feel him coming around. Looking away. I open up my gate and put it in. Let him come through. There. Stop. He's spaced out. Come back to my gate. Come with me beside me. It's pretty close. Let's go a little this way. So we'll lock up. And now. I'm going to go a little further. I've completed my goal. I've got him in here blind. So I'm happy with that. He's gone ahead of me, so I can't walk where I want to walk. Um, so, uh, okay, you probably need to come in. I think you're still out. Yeah. So come on in here. Now I'm going to try to make my way in the arena a little bit without him cutting me off. I think I need to go that way towards Clark. 
Now, Luke is on my <clears throat> left. I'd like him to stay on my left. So I'm going to do this as I would do it as if I wasn't, uh, like, as if I'm just doing this normally, actually. So this feels very natural to me. I don't really think too much of it. I can feel where he is. I know where he is based off of here. And I can hear him in my ear. But I'm going to stop where I think the cedar tree is. So I'm going to look at this later and wonder if my spatial awareness is correct. Oops. Jesus, it's not even close. I'm no good at all. I've gone off to one side. That's crazy. I swear I was walking straight. It's brighter here. I come out from underneath the tree, maybe? I don't know. Let's go find the stairs. Find the rail and find the stairs. This being a really good boy for me. I feel like I'm close. Yep. Okay. Come on, buddy. There's the bridge. I actually had a feeling the bridge was going to be right there. So if the bridge is here, I was underneath there. And I came out from underneath it. Luke stayed where he needs to stay. I'm going to come out this way a, bit, a bit. And I'm actually going to do one more thing. This is what I was talking about. Where I want to do... I want to see if I can do a basic groundwork circle. And I can already feel myself sort of being like this. And he's not even there. But being sort of like, hey, stand off from me, which is a normal human reaction. So I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get this done. I am completely blind at this point. Where's my horse? Here. Had him. Okay, so he's there. He's come over this way. I'm gonna send him the other way. There he goes. I'm going to stop talking so I can concentrate. He stopped. Can you please move? Don't wait. with him a little. I gotta admit, David's steps are throwing me off. It's weird. Thanks, buddy. Oh, you did great. Okay, I'm gonna let you free. Okay, so find a step. Can I let my horse free? Do I know where he is? Is it okay? I think it's safe. Stepped away. He's still there. In fact, he's so here. He's reached towards me. My friend. I'll go over here. Have you come towards me? No. Yes. Alright, buddy. Uh, yeah. Okay, I think that's that's a complete experiment. First first stage. We're good. You're there, right? I'm right here. Yeah. Okay. Ha! Okay, it's gonna be bright. Oh, I can't see. <laughs> 